What's that? Go over the bridge. What'd you say? Go over the bridge. Good morning, you absolute legends. It is uh, two weeks into Victoria's lockdown at the moment. We're all a bit exhausted of these lockdowns. This is the sixth lockdown, and I think I, I heard recently that Victoria is the most locked down state or territory in the world. Regardless, we're out for a little bit of leisure. We can only go within five kilometers of our home at the moment. So Hannah and I and Jack are just out walking at the local golf course. It's about 400 meters from our house and there's no one playing golf at the moment obviously so um so yeah we're just making the most of this beautiful little day it is a cracking day today 20 degrees celsius so we're pushing towards spring and hopefully we can all come out of lockdown how's the weather han beautiful cracking cracking day come on little man let's go This is a nice little bridge, I haven't seen this before. Look, I've never actually been on this golf course. It is, it is fenced over here, so we're sort of sitting here trying to work out whether we can actually get out if we go down. But even if we do go down, Han, yeah. and it's blocked off, we'll just come back. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. I'm on my bike, you're walking. Yeah. Hey. You want to take your helmet off? Yeah. Go, go put your helmet with your bike, okay? No, go put it with your bike outside. Okay? Put your helmet on your bike. So how much weight have you lost? One and a half, I reckon. One and a half kilos? Yeah. That's nothing yet. It's more than you. <laughs> it's more looking. than you. <laughs> Mummy's winning. To be perfectly honest, I love food, man. I just love food. I've really fallen off the bandwagon and the fact that we're in lockdown, I'm like, okay, as long as I still ride the bike and sort of maintain some fitness, we've done our group rides and stuff. But, but you're not <laughs> maintaining the riding? Just here to call you out. Well, just a little bit. I mean, I'm more than, more than nothing. I'm still riding. I think you are eating more than you're riding. Mate, honestly, sometimes I wonder whose side this chick's on. No, I'm just keeping you accountable. You need someone to not tell you that you're a great singer when you're a terrible singer and go on Australian Idol. I'm that person. <laughs> Don't you think? So you're basically saying I'm full of shit to my followers. <laughs> no, you're not full of shit. But I'm keeping you accountable. I'm stuffed. Oh, you've got banana over there, bud. Yeah, you got to eat your banana over there first. And Kat. then I'm going to make you some special banana treats for later. Yeah. Come and eat this banana first. So it's like banana slices with um, peanut butter in the middle. And then you, um, you know, we're 2021 here. Been to the park, wash your hands. Even though I've touched absolutely nothing, it's just like habit now. Um, so it's a banana with a bit of peanut butter in between, two slices, and then you coat it in dark chocolate, stick it in the freezer, oh. and it's like a yummy oh. snack. You've set me back another kilo. <laughs> Mate, this is the funny thing. When you have a second child, you're not as fastidious as you are with the first. I remember when Jack was like, we would just be watching him constantly. Jack, you don't stand on her hand, darling. We would be watching him constantly, just thinking, you know, making sure he doesn't go anything near anything dangerous. With her, we're so lackadaisy. We just let her, let her go. Did she climb up in there, up there on her own, Jack? Where's she going?
Where are you going? You can't go in the dirt, sweetheart. Okay. I said to Hannah, mate, we're in lockdown. The only joy that we've got in life is putting food down the gullet. So we're going to go get some chips. So we're going to eat puppy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so recently we've had to spend a bit of, a bit of money on this thing, uh, getting some things done on it. Just general maintenance stuff. Had to get some brakes repaired and stuff like that. But it's all money sort of outgoing, and I hate spending money on cars. So we're taking the roof racks off at the moment, which the reason why will be revealed later. Hi. Well, so you know you're in COVID lockdown when the pleasure of the day is to take your kids through the car wash. Uh, we've never actually taken Jack through a car wash before. And so, so because we've taken the roof racks off, we thought the first thing we'll do is to take him through an automated car wash. He's going through the car wash. Yeah, here it comes. It's going to wash the car. Look, Jack. So the other outstanding news this week, we've had a very busy week, is uh, I bought a new car. And uh, I was glad to get rid of the Volkswagen because it was starting to have s some, uh, some issues and it was starting to cost us a bit of money. So I've always wanted a Toyota Prado and uh, here it is in my driveway. Brand new Toyota Prado 2021. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles. We've got the roof racks from the Volkswagen on top. And uh, I've just got to stop Jack. He's got a little stick at the moment, so he's been whacking the car, and and uh, I'm trying I'm trying to fend him off. But yeah, that's it. That's the beast. Hannah and I had a battle about this car because she wanted a Jeep Wrangler, and I wanted this. But um, you know, I know that Toyota Prados are super reliable, whereas Jeeps not so much. I had my car break down twice, my old Jeep Grand Cherokee that I had a few years ago. And uh, the other thing that Hannah didn't want if we did get the Prado was this wheel on the back of the tailgate because you can get an option to put the wheel underneath the car but then you can only have an 87 litre fuel tank whereas at the moment we've got two fuel tanks totaling 150 litres. So I'd prefer the fuel tanks and to have this on the back whereas Hannah's really about the... She, she thinks this looks a bit old manish. You know, because we can't go on holidays overseas at the moment at least I can go camping with the kids. I can go four-wheel driving and I've got a vehicle that's probably the best in class for going off-road. And uh, this thing's, you know, a bit of a balance between, it's quite luxurious and nice inside, but it's not that, you know, super high value uh, Land Cruiser. It is, a, it is a Land Cruiser Prado, but it's still affordable. And that's how it opens up. It's even got this thing here, that's a fridge, that's a cooler. So uh, I can keep my beers in there while I'm driving.
So look, to be perfectly honest with you, black wasn't my choice, but uh, I was actually going to get the pearl white. Uh, I like white cars and black cars tend to show up a lot more dirt, but because Hannah wanted the Jeep Wrangler, she wanted to choose the color. So she chose black, mainly because it's stealthy. But the other thing is what we're thinking about doing is painting these matte black and pretty much all of the chrome bits. So the chrome trim, uh, the chrome front here, just having it sort of matte blacky. I'm not sure how matte black will go with the sort of shiny black on the car. So we're gonna Photoshop it. I'm gonna take a photo of this. And then Hannah's very skilled at the Adobe suite. She's very, um, very clever. She's an award-winning graphic designer, to be honest with you. So um, she's gonna do it up in Photoshop and see what it looks like. Your other bike, way faster. <laughs> Good stuff, mate, you're doing well. How do you stop and use your brake? Well done, buddy. Keep going. Push hard on the pedals. So we bought Jack a pedal bike quite some time ago, but he never really enjoyed it because he just probably liked riding the, uh, the balance bike a little bit more and he felt more confident on that. So it's been quite a challenge getting him on the pedal bike. A guy I know, Gene, he's got a, a little boy same age as Jack's Casper and he absolutely rips on his pedal bike. And so we've been inspired by that to get Jack onto the pedal bike. But at the end of the day, they only go as, uh, they only do it as quickly as they want to do it. So, story of my life. Car carrying the bike because he's too scared to ride it. <laughs> 